That's Louise. <laughs> it certainly is, Simon. What more can you want for if you're taking a four-legged friend out? But some blue sky and sunshine. Most of us managing to enjoy Mother Nature's beauty at the moment. But further north and west, unfortunately, there's quite a lot of cloud around, just like we had yesterday. Now, if I put both of those weather watchers on the satellite picture, you can see just how much sunshine there is out there, even stretching up into eastern Scotland. Northwest of the Great Glen, though, thicker cloud. It's producing some drizzle. And at the moment, gusts of winds in excess of 40 miles an hour as well. Now elsewhere, pretty much what you've got at the moment you're going to keep for the rest of the day. A bit more of a breeze down to the southwest, however, but temperatures are responding. So down in the southwest with that breeze, 15 degrees, but sheltered eastern areas should see temperatures peaking into the high teens. Through the night tonight, that cloud in Scotland will filter its way down into the north of England and across the Northern Ireland. A little bit of patchy mist and fog, still some drizzle here. Elsewhere, it's a quiet night, not as cold as the nights just passed. Overnight lows will sit at around three to seven degrees. So we've still got that cold front in the north with the colder air behind. But this little fella here, creeping its way towards the southwest, could bring some sharp showers later on tomorrow. Ahead of it, however, a southerly wind will arrive, warmer still. In fact, Thursday could be the warmest day of the week with temperatures peaking into the low 20s. So we've got quite a lot of cloud across Scotland, Northern England, Northern Ireland, lots of sunshine elsewhere. A few sharp showers may well arrive down into the southwest, but ahead of it, temperatures possibly 21, 22 degrees. Behind that cold front, it's a little disappointing, 8 to 13. But the front will ease away and high pressure then will build as we head to the weekend. So for the north of the country, it looks pretty good. Down to the southwest, there could be some rain. Welcome rain for some, as we've not seen some significant rain for over four weeks across England and Wales. Some of these showers could be heavy and possibly thundery, pushing up from the southwest as we go through the day on Friday. So not quite as warm with a northeasterly breeze, despite that drier weather in Scotland. It's going to be chilly on those exposed coasts. So certainly on Saturday, there'll be further showers. And again, some of them maybe with the odd rumble of thunder. Those showers are likely to ease. But certainly as we head through to the weekend, it looks likely that we'll continue to see some showers across England and Wales. But elsewhere, it's going to be dry with some sunny spells. Back to you, Simon.